Uh, it started in 1987, and now in 2011 it is edition number 25. A lot of people have collaborated to this event, and that the PWA makes a stop on the island of Aruba and Bonaire is a first since the mid-90s for us in Aruba. And I must confess, to be quite honest, the idea to invite the PWA to Aruba was not our idea. The original idea came from Bonaire. In Bonaire, we have the big man of windsurfing of the island, Mr. Alvis Martinez, who talked to us a year ago, and he said, you know, you have your 25th Aruba High Winds. Why don't we make a kind of a Caribbean tour of the PWA culminating in Aruba, coinciding with the 25th Aruba High Winds. So Elvis Martinez came to Aruba. He talked to us as organizers of the Aruba High Winds. He talked to the Minister of Sports, Mr. Richard Visser, and his reaction was right away, we're going to do that. We're going to make a tour, a Caribbean tour of the PWA in Curaçao, then Bonaire, and finally Aruba. Well, we had Curaçao that appeared to be not possible. Then there was Bonaire. And in Bonaire, Mr. Alvis Martinez made it possible with all the obstacles of constant changing from constitutional status in the past year. It appeared to be very, very difficult to get it off in Bonaire. But he succeeded. Last week was the World Cup, the PWA World Cup freestyle in Bonaire. And we just finished yesterday the PWA Aruba Grand Slam freestyle uh, event. I would like to invite up front, Mr. Elvis Martinez. Are you here? Elvis, please, He must be here. I just saw him. He is the man, Piscetti. Piscetti. Well, Aruba, congratulations to the 25 years of Aruba High Rings. I didn't compete in the first one, but the second one, the same that I love the sport of windsurfing. And to see Aruba celebrating 25 years of the uh, Aruba High Rings, I said, what a great thing to have a PWA back here. So we have the grand stand. And I must say this, it's not only my idea, but uh, Mr. Minister Richard Fisser, he's the man that I didn't talk with him not even 10 minutes. He says, Yes, all this because this is big. And I talked to the organizer, everybody said, was positive. And he was Aruba with the Grand Slam. When there is a tiny island, the store for us was donated. And we hope that we have this island not for the 25 years, but for many years more to come that we have the ABC Island of at least Bonaire and Aruba for many years on the tour. Thank you guys, and thanks for putting a great event. And we have a lot of Bonaire competing here, and we give a lot of chance to our youth as well to compete uh, in the pro. So this event is all positive. For being Aruba, thank you. Thank you, Alvi, thank you. Okay, here's the day has been mentioned several times, and he is here too, of course, the man who really makes it possibly, possible financially, Mr. Richard Fisser, please, come forward. Welcome, sir. Well, thank you very much. I can see that he's a big success for Aruba. Uh, 
win a speed WA tour or something you want to bring back, especially at 25 years. And I think we want to continue this. I think next year we're looking at Bonaire, Curacao, and Aruba. Uh, we'll be in discussions with all bo both islands and making this possible and having probably a military ship transport all the equipment between the islands. Uh, that's the pool we have and that's the pool we're going to use. And I think uh, this is only one way it's going to go, it's going to go up. Uh, windsurfing lives in Aruba, so does kite birding, and we're going to make it uh, successful for the next coming year. So you can count on me on that. Uh, let's make this a great event. Uh, I'm glad that the uh, wind picked up today, and it's supposed to be kicking in and staying constant. So thank you very much. Uh, thank, thanks to all the people coming here. Welcome to Aruba again. I know that, you know, when uh, Dunker Beck came in, he told me the last time he came to Aruba, he uh, exited off the plane in the old uh, airport. Uh, that was a long time ago. Uh, so we're glad to have all the old guys back, all the new guys back, all the new kids, and uh, let's rock it. Thank you. Okay, then the ceremony that we're here all for. Okay, we are here to give the awards to the winners of the freestyle event. And we started the freestyle event on Sunday afternoon with a lousy win, which continued into Monday. But as of Tuesday, we had good wins and we have good winners. May I see in front of this press wall of the Aruba High Winds the winners, the first three ladies, please, ladies. Xenia <laughs> Kessler, Laura Trebuch, and Sarah Gita Hoffinger. Okay, these are the winners on the right. We have the winner of the third prize. And Minister Fischer. <laughs> Minister Fischer will give to the first lady, lady on this side, Xenia Kessler from Denmark. She's the winner of the third prize. In Okay, second place from Swiss Lord Trebu. And then finally, we just saw the nice video where she told how she got into windsurfing and what it means for her. This means a big, big lot to her to be on her home island, to be a champion at the Aruba Freestyle Event of the CWA, Sarakita Africa. I've been instructed to call them up one after another. I'm calling the third prize winner, De Venezuela, Jose Goyito Estrello. Here is third place winner.
Okay, this is Jose. We call him Goyito Estrero de Venezuela. Ganador del tercer premio. And we call forward the winner of the second place in Freestyle Man. For the Boneiro, Kiri Tore! And then we're missing one guy. There should be one more. The guy that came out on top after the single elimination and then the day later after the double elimination. A guy from Belgium. Yeah! The winner is Steven Van Duvel. Okay, thank you guys. We hope to see you back next year in Aruba. Okay, this signals the end of the freestyle event, but in the meantime, we have already had one day of slalom races. And the second part of this evening, of this small ceremony, is the opening of the slalom event. I would like to give the word to someone from the PWA, is the president of the PWA, the chairman, Mr. Jimmy Diaz. Are you here? Okay. Thank you. You know, as, uh, as the Mr. Visser said, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's great to be back here. It's great to have the PWA back here. For us, it's a great honor to return to Aruba, where this was uh, one of the most prestigious events on the tour in uh, years past. So it's a great honor to be back here. We hope to be back here for many years to come. We'll, uh, we'll take your word on it to, uh, to come back here. And you know, one of the things we want to do on the PWA tour is, is uh, diversify and be in more places. And one of our big aims is to have a big Caribbean leg. So we really hope uh, to incorporate Bonaire, Aruba, Curacao into our tour and that it's, uh, it's one of the most exciting lights on the tour. And uh, this is one of the best places in the world, I think, the Caribbean, off of the Caribbean. And uh, we hope to come back here for many years to come. And also it's, uh, it's great to see how many kids are coming uh, from the Caribbean. I think now we're seeing the fruits of, of, uh, of all their work. The, what we see from Bonaire, all the great sailors from Bonaire, from Margarita, and of course from Aruba, seeing Sarakita uh, dominating the freestyle for the women. So once again, it's great to be back here. We really hope to be back here not only next year, but for, for the next 20 years. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And may I conclude that the second event of this Grand Slam, the Slalom event, is now officially inaugurated. Okay.